In this movie, we're going to be creating a multiple choice quiz or questionnaire. Once again, we're going to be making good use of our multi-state objects. Um, and this is how our quiz is going to look when it's finished. Um, you can see I've got a series of four images, each with a question underneath and then four potential answers. And depending on whether or not you get them wrong or you get them right will depend on um, where you click. Now I could click over here. Um, I've got live areas um, right over this zone so it's not um, that you have to absolutely click in that box. You'll also notice that when you get the answer correct um, we get rewarded with a little bit of extra information about that um, answer. So um, you can see how this works um, quite nicely. So there we go. So that's that's what it's going to look like when it's done. And now we just need to um, pop back into Adobe InDesign. Now I'm using Adobe InDesign um, 2018. It really doesn't matter if you're using uh, an older version or even a newer version. Um, this is the most up-to-date at this moment in time. But of course, if you're watching this in 12 months, it won't be. So don't worry too much about that. These are fairly standard um, and have been for quite a long time, uh, at least as long as um, Adobe CC has been available. Um, but most people are using up-to-date uh, versions of software these days. Um, right, okay, so let's crack on and see how we make this. Now, um, I've already built most of the page, all the boring bits. I've put the pictures in, I've made um, some text boxes with um, my questions and I've used a little um, uh, square frame um, which is embedded into the text to make sure that the distances and everything else are all absolutely spot on and equal. I've also um, imported uh, a couple of um, little symbols. I've got a little tick here and a little cross um, for uh, our markers um, to show whether or not our answers are correct or incorrect. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a multi-state object. Now, if you've done my videos before um, for uh, InDesign making things for EPUBs, you've probably come across multi-states before. If not, then um, pay attention. Um, we're going to make our first multi-state, which is going to eventually comprise of a button and this little, um, this little cross here. So the first thing I need to do is create a frame. And I'm going to put the frame over the name Utah, and I'm gonna come across the square with the little cross in it. I might just go a little bit over this side as well, like so. And I need to pick up um, the rectangle that I've just drawn and the little red cross. So I'm gonna come across to my layers panel. The rectangle you can see is already selected and I'm going to select the, the cross from here. Now the reason I'm doing that is because the cross is underneath that frame and I'm not going to be able to pick it up easily but of course by using the layers panel I can do that quite simply by holding the shift key down and just clicking um, cross. So I've now got those two items selected and I'm going to make an object state. So I'm making a new object state and I'm going to give it a name and the name I'm going to give it is um, answer one. Now because I've got a number at the end um, that comes in really handy you'll see in a, in a moment um, the benefit of putting a number at the end. I'm just going to change the names of the actual states so I'm going to call this one start and this one is going to be called end. Okay, so it's my start state and my end state. And um, whilst I've got the yeah, the end state selected. Um, whoops, just drop the multi state, just pick it up again. There we go. So um, I'm going to uh, drill down into that multi state now. So I'm going to go to uh, layers 
and you can see here here's the um, the layer that I'm interested in it's called answer one and if I spin that open you can see um, it says end here okay and we've got a cross and if I change to start um, and go to my layers and go to the rectangle and what I'm going to do with that rectangle is I'm going to make it into a button okay now it's really important that you do that you don't try and make the um, object state itself into a button because it won't work you've kind of got to drill down into the the composite parts using layers um, to actually access um, the the object on its own rather than um, the object state because it, it won't it won't react correctly you can't animate and you can't make buttons and things from object states but you can from the component parts so what I'm going to do is I've gone to buttons and forms and I'm going to add an action and it's going to be go to state and you can see see here that the object is answer one and the state I'm going to go to is end like so and let's just see if this works so when I click on Utah you can see it does in fact work which is terrific so um, that's great but now what I need to do is I need to um, multiply up that object state. I don't want to have to make that another 15 times and I don't need to. I can um, just step and repeat this up. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, make sure I've got um, the whole object state selected. Then when I go to object state I'm going to choose the end um, the end state like this and then drill back. So go to escape if I hit escape a couple of times I can see I've got the whole of the object state selected but I've got the cross showing now that's where we need to be with this okay um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to edit and choose step and repeat and I'm going to repeat this up 15 times because I've got 15 other questions and <coughs> excuse me um, you can see that my vertical offset is set to 11.7 millimeters. Now yours isn't going to be exactly the same as mine. Um, it really does depend on the space between your um, your answers. Okay, so you will have to um, just feel it until you've got them in the right place. I just looked to see where these were all more or less lined up in the correct place and went from there. Now the interesting thing about um, this is these will all be numbered because I called this one answer one if I go to my layers panel you can now see I've got answer one two three four five so this is great so I can have my first four answers um, on my Grand Canyon question one two three four and then I'm going to um, pick up the next four one two three and four and I'm going to move those and drop them in position here and then the next four I'm going to go just there and then the last four are going to go over here like so so let's see how that's working out for us. Um, I'm just going to preview again, just run it from the beginning. And you can see that all the buttons work just as they're supposed to, nice and easy. The only problem with this though is that it would appear that there's no way you can win on this quiz. All the answers are currently wrong. So let's correct that. And that's what I've got the little um, the tick, the little checkbox. Um, four. So I'm going to, first of all, um, I'm going to copy my little tick. So I'm going to copy this. So I'm going to use Command-C, it's Control-C, obviously if you're using a PC. 
and then I'm going to click on Arizona because that's the correct answer and then I'm going to go to object states and I'm going to choose the end state so I've got the end state showing and then I've got this little box down here and if I click that I can paste copied objects into the selected state like so and then um, if I go to layers okay and find it says answer three and and then it says tick and cross so I'm going to select the cross and delete it okay and then I'm just going to continue doing that with the rest so on this one it's Madagascar is the correct answer and if I go to object states paste into that state go to layers it's answer five this time I'm always alerted to that by this little blue light and then I'm going to click the cross make sure it's selected and then I can delete it um, what is the capital Morocco the answer is Rabat object states again paste into that state back to my layers and it's answer 10 this time and there's the cross delete it and the Eiffel Tower I was actually quite surprised at this the Eiffel Tower was built in 1889 so I'm going to select that one object states and paste into that state back to my layers this time it's in answer 13 and I'm going to select the cross and delete it and now I can just check and see how that's going to look so let's just play it again and this time when I click Arizona I get a right answer Madagascar I get a right answer Rabat and 1889 there we go I'm so clever um, and that's it that's all there is to that and all I have to do now is just um, delete this now if I wanted to I could take it a step further and have some text um, appearing when I get the correct answer so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a series of frames now the way I'm going to do this I'm going to just draw out a frame I'm just using the rectangle tool to do this and I'm going to use the right hand um, arrow key on my keyboard so the directional arrows so I'm going to click on the right hand um, key uh, three times and that makes four boxes and they're all nicely spaced and they're going to work just fine for me so that's a nice little technique um, now I'm going to just use my text tool to click inside these boxes to turn them into text frames now you can see that my cursor um, can you see how it, the eye beam is in a kind of little circle it's in a square here but when it's in a circle it's going to allow me to put text inside that frame so I've got some text prepared so if I go to file and choose place and uh, I want the Grand Canyon quiz text which I'm just going to pull in here and um, I've got a nice style sheet set up um, oh no I don't so I'm, I could use this so I'm just going to select that whole thing use first para um, and then I'm going to make my uh, my new style sheet so new style sheet it's going to be based on first paragraph but I'm going to make it a bit smaller and I'm going to call this um, info info style and then I can apply my info style there we go so that fits in quite nicely there and then when I bring in uh, my next load of type so I can place this this is going to be the Madagascar Lima text I'm going to go in there and again I'm going to style it with info style and then place my Rabat text um, 
And finally, I'm going to place my Paris Eiffel text like so. And I'm just going to edit my info style just to take the hyphenation off because I absolutely hate it, even in a little tutorial like this. There we go, that's better. So there we go. So there's my, my text in place, but I only want it to appear when somebody gets the right answer. So I'm going to um, go back to my Arizona multi-state. Um, and when I go to the object state, I want it to be um, in here. So I'm going to select and I'm going to cut it. So um, Command or Control X, um, click on Arizona, click on this state and paste it in. Now I just have to move it back into position, which is quite easy because I've got my lovely guides on. And I'm going to do the same with all these. So I'm going to cut this and click on Madagascar, paste in Like so, cut this one, the bat, paste into that state, like so, cut this one, and this is going to get pasted into the 1889 state, just pop it there, and then I can see how this is going to look. So when I get the answer right, I'm rewarded with some text now as well. And that's it. That's my quiz completely finished. Whoops.